Hi, this is BMA, and welcome to this Sunday live stream. I hope that you enjoyed the new intro we just made, and I hope you've had a fantastic weekend so far. I know that I'm streaming a bit early today, and I'm sorry for that, but I have some plans later today. So, hopefully we can have some fun now. A uh, couple of hours of live stream. I hope everybody's doing well. Just like uh, last time, we will start off by playing some uh, Nordhof. Uh, one one two, and then um, in about an hour or so, we will switch over and play some emergency four. So I don't know if people noticed this, but they just uh, they just released a new patch for uh, for this game, uh, North of one one two. Um, it's not a big patch, it says that they added some new missions for the KEF vehicle, uh, that's the small one over here, the one I showed you uh, last time I played. Uh, they did some new uh, graphical terrain uh, presentation, it's now based on the new, some new standards, lane markings and crossroad and new road textures. Uh, new option to deactivate AI step by step when selecting a mission. New head of operation can be played after getting the achievement. Uh, Provisionary Inspector. Then they added a new uh, multiplayer visual uh, lobby and then they did a ton of bug fixes. Okay, so basically it means that uh, now it's possible for me to change over here if I want the firefighters to do everything by themselves or if I want to um, control it manually. Okay, so it seems we got a first fire. It's a small fire in some uh, waste, so we will just respond there as the driver. Achtung. I think we're gonna respond as a, as a driver and then when we get to the scene we will switch over and become uh, the operator. So like you might see we have a new skin right now. We uh, changed it over to a Düsseldorf modification. Uh, a modification for this game. Just waiting for my partner. There he is. And then we will respond. This is probably a minor fire, so we will do this by ourselves. Um, I'm not actually sure what new calls they added. I, I tried and I think it was a new one. I haven't had the DLC for too long myself, uh, but I just got a call yesterday when I played where I had to um, help some people that was entrapped behind the door. Uh, so that seemed rather new, uh, but I'm not sure if that's actually the new one or it's just because I didn't play it too much. Okay, so we are rolling up on the machine and I can see that there are some fire right here. And we will switch over and become the squad leader. I don't know why, I really enjoy playing this in first person. Seems like a minor fire, should be easy for us to extinguish. You know, I actually only got uh, like uh, five hours of sleep tonight because I had to respond to a fire call most of the night. I think we got called just around uh, three in the morning and then we were home around six, I think. So I'm a bit tired today, but uh, that's no problem. We will do the stream anyway. Have a little chill stream playing a bit together. Uh, let's take off the scuba gear and then just go into the vehicle. Uh, somebody's asking what happened. I'm guessing that that relates to the fire incident tonight. Um, just a farm fire, nothing, uh, nothing too exciting, nothing 
exceptional. Um, so yeah, it's fine. So yeah, the new mission for, for the KEF. Um, I think it's the person trapped behind door where you respond alongside with the, an ambulance and some police and then you have to get to a person that they can't get in contact to and you have to basically break the door to get into the building. Um, super simple mission, but then again that's also kind of the point with the KEF. It's supposed to be some, some rather simple missions uh, that doesn't require a lot of uh, equipment. I actually also tried another one. I got a call for um, for cutting down a tree, and when we got there, we had to use uh, the, the turnable ladder to get up to the tree because the, the branch was actually hanging from uh, from the tree, so we had to cut it down. <coughs> so yeah, definitely still a ton of potential in this game, and I think that if the developers keep working like they do, we could have a really awesome game here. I'm still enjoy uh, looking forward to actually playing some multiplayer. I have not tried it yet. Yeah, well, in general, it would be nice to have some more calls. Uh, it's nice to see some for, for the KEF, but I would love to see some more calls in general. Uh, get to use some of the equipment, just like I talked about last time. Like, there's a ton of special equipment on these vehicles that isn't in use. I quite enjoy riding with this, uh, this AI, where the AI actually drives. Five minutes, waste skip fire. Fire brigade recalled to smoke rising from garbage bin on 5th of September 2016. Okay. When they arrived at the scene, the bin was already full of blaze. Thanks to Craig, uh, blah 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 blah. Police suspect arson. Awesome. Hmm. So somebody actually put it on fire, according to police. That's not good. I'm not sure if I showed you this last time, um, but these uh, these tank vehicles actually also have some equipment. I mean, we have uh, the foam tubes. Actually, some calls where you need these now. I think I got um what was that? I think it was uh yeah it was a truck fire where we had to use uh, use the foam to actually take out the fire. But yeah, a couple of roller gates that you can you can play around with. Uh, nothing too exciting right here. Then here in the back we have some foam agent, some hoses, a lot of different um Oh, a hydro shield. I actually like these in real life. It's like a you basically put it down like this, then you connect a, <coughs> a hose to it, and then it creates like a a shield in the shape of like this uh, half a uh, sphere. Um, large skip fire. Yeah, we will respond to that. Uh, we will go as the driver of the engine. Achtung. Uh, but yeah, I actually enjoy them in real life. Uh, they can be really useful if you have a, like a big farm fire or hay fire or something like that and you want to protect, uh, for example, some buildings behind it. You can put up the shield and then the fire will not spread across. Just gonna put this back, we remember how it went last time. Whoops, just need to wait for the last guy. Chief is already responding in front of us. Bit of heavy traffic. Green light, the vehicle seems to stop for us. Yeah, I would also say that the equipment that they show for this game is super realistic. Um, it's nothing like I've ever seen before. It's very clear that this uh, game is created by actual firefighters that know 
what they're doing and what equipment they have in real life. Um, and it's something I think I've been lacking in a lot of other firefighter games, is the realism and the actual real life equipment. I actually also think that for this update they did right here, they added some different missions. Uh, I've been responding to some corners of the map that I have not responded to before. So I think they did some new, new different missions. Uh, but I think, I, did, I think I've done this one before actually. Yeah, that is a skip fire. Uh, all the action for this one will be regarding the, uh, the, the ladder. So I think we're gonna switch over uh, and become um, the attack leader for the ladder. Yeah, because I think he's gonna be the one actually doing all the work for this, for this mission. Oh yeah, um, we actually use it uh, mostly as a containment, me uh, what's it called? containment measure uh, to make sure that the fire doesn't spread. <coughs> okay, we're just gonna start off by waiting. Go get the sea hose. We can do that. Get the sea hose. Put it down. Unwind it. Uh, pick up hose end. Connect it to the ladder. To the other end. And connect it to the distributor. I don't know about other countries, but here in Denmark we always start from the left when we uh, connect the hoses to a distributor. I don't know if it's the same in other countries too, or if it's just Danes. That's interesting. Okay, what we probably need to do now is to get um, a nozzle and then get into the basket. Yeah, it would be fun to add some kind of uh, micromanagement, um, making sure to evacuate the, the area around the fire. Uh, but I think that as long as they don't give some uh, give the ability to control the command leader, uh, it will not have much purpose. <coughs> okay, so basically now we are in the ladder and taking out the fire. I'm not sure what the second host down there to the left is doing. The one down there. Why they have that on. Just have to extinguish it. Slowly. Uh, I think we got it by now. Almost. There we go. I'm not sure if I m mentioned this the last time or not, uh, but I actually talked to uh, to Shady Lasser, uh, the guy behind the Odense modification, the one I'm, I did the, the collaboration weekend with alongside with Fyodor, uh, and I asked him if he could do some kind of skins for this game, uh, so he could have like I don't know either a Odense or a Falk skin. I thought that would be cool, be a cool addition for it. 
<coughs> so we would play around with, it, uh, with actually some Danish skins. I would like to see that. And he said he was willing to try. Uh, just didn't have time yet. I think he had some exams or something he had to do. But yeah, if you go into the Steam Marketplace, you can actually find... Uh, uh, I think it's called the Workshop for, for this game. You can find a ton of different um, skins from different uh, departments around the world. Um, of course, there are most German... But there are some different international ones. I would love to include a Danish. Getting home yet? I think we are. Just need to close the roller gate. And we should be ready. I think I'm gonna switch over and come uh, the machine operator for, for the ladder, uh, just so I can drive myself. Uh, I still find it fascinating that that the AI can drive around like this and actually be semi-realistic. But it's still fun to do something yourself and actually play. Did you guys notice the shadows? Like the, the amount of details in them. If you look down on the ground, uh, of you can't see it now. If you look down on the ground, how, how detailed the shadows are. Yeah, well, the, the way to download uh, and install through the Steam Marketplace um, is a bit weird, I agree with that. Uh, but I can show you how it's done um, later in the stream. It's actually super simple to do it. Uh, you just need to know what to do. That was a red light. Um, so yeah, yeah, I can show you guys how to do it. ladder if you make the graphic settings high enough this game is just fantastic there we have the fire station almost home that somebody challenged me to do uh, the parking in first person, so of course I'm gonna do that. Without hitting the wall. Just like in real life. 